Welcome to Mono Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at rigging your VRM in Mixamo. First, we're going to look at exporting your avatar from Blender in this case, importing to Mixamo, rigging it, and then saving the avatar. Let's jump in. Okay, so we have our asset in Blender. This, of course, could be any 3D creation tool. Basically, the one thing we need to do before we export is make sure that the transforms are applied. So in this case, you can see that the scale is 111. We wanna make sure that is that case by in Blender, we go object mode, control A, and apply all transforms. And that will make sure. The main thing is scale. You may want to change the name because that's the main thing that's going to be coming out. And then we can export the FBX. Make sure to select the assets you want to export and then go to file, uh, export, FBX. Now I'm going to overwrite some previous ones. So I'm going to do 8 killer VRM tutorial, make it as you want to. By default, the selected objects asset will be off. We need it to be on. That way these assets will not be included on the export. If you have any issues with scale in Unity, uh, you could apply the transform down here. And once those are set, we can export the FBX down here. Uh, the next thing we need to do is go to Mixamo.com. You may need to sign in, but that's very easy to sign up and get into the Mixamo space. So we have our animations. We have some other characters if you want to test there, but as we're creating our own, uh, we won't be using that. So in this case, we need to upload character, which is up here and select our character file. Uh, so if I recall, it's 8K lib VRM tutorial and open. We'll take a moment to do so. Now note that the materials did not come in with it. Exporting FBXs, uh, it's a bit tricky to get the materials out properly. Uh, that said, it's also recommended to do the materials in Unity so you have full control over the features and assets and parameters in that. So they do things in a slightly different way to others. So for best control, I would recommend doing the materials in Unity. So this doesn't actually matter. I'll just keep working with this. That looks good. So let's go next. After that, we need to place our markers. We can use symmetry. So if you have an asymmetrical character, you could actually apply these and it'll probably do okay with that. The other thing you can do is if you have a character with less fingers, uh, you can define uh, that as being the way to go. Uh, but as I have full five, I will make sure that it is standard skeleton. After we've made sure that these are the settings we want, we want to use these to apply where it should go. So chin needs to go on the chin, wrists on wrists, elbows on elbows. You or I may want to put the knee here, but what that will do is Mixamo will take into consideration the model that this is applied to, and the bottom of that is the floor. So in this case, if I added the knees here, the asset would actually have the floor at the bottom of the coat, not the bottom of the shoe. I could fix this in Blender afterwards, but in this case, I'm going to put it on the knee so it will recognize that the bottom of the shoe is the floor. That said, if your character is simple, then this will uh, sort that out for you. But if it's a more complicated character, you may need to modify the asset in your 3D creation tool. The last one is the groin. So I'm gonna put that in about there. So now that that's done, uh, we can move on to the next phase. This does take a little bit of time, so I will speed up this process so we can get to the next state. Okay, so we have our assets and looking around it, it looks okay. You do have some tools down here to see where the bones are and things like that. Notice how the knees are a little bit in uh, and that's because of my knee situation with the coat. Uh, so you will probably not have that problem. And then you have some other tools to work with that as well. So this looks good to me. Next. Another thing you can do, if you want to test how well your character is rigged, you can click on these animations and it will show you how well they work with your rigging. So this looks pretty good to me. So we can just do that. 
For exporting, I will get rid of the animation just to make sure I don't have to worry about that on export. And the last thing we need to do is save our assets. So I'm going to use download and we have two options, format and pose. So we actually want to go FBX for Unity because that's where we're going to put it. This will say, keep the names of the bones and things like that a little bit more in line with what Unity expects. So that will save some time and effort later. The other thing is T-Pose. So if your character is in an A-Pose, that would be in the original pose. But as noted, uh, we need a T-Pose for our VRM import process. So this is one way to export your asset as a T-Pose, uh, even though you modeled it as an A-Pose. So this allows us to do that here. Once those two are set, download. And then we go save. So rigged in Mixamo, uh, save. And yes, in my case. That will basically save out your model that has been rigged in Mixamo. So once again, the quality is maybe less accurate than if you rigged it or weighted it yourself, but it is much, much faster. As with anything, choosing speed with lower quality or doing it manually for higher quality is the choice we have to make on pretty much every asset we wanna make. That said, I will leave it at that. Have a nice day and happy building.